Hello, and welcome to Pi. Projects, ideas, and experiments. In today's video, um, I'm actually going to take the uh, the little seedlings that I had started in the seed starting tray a while back, and uh, they've gotten to a point to where I think they're ready to be transplanted. So, uh, might as well film it, right? Make a nice little video. And, uh, yeah, just gonna transfer, uh, little seedlings into some containers. Get them outside. Fresh air and sunshine makes the plants grow. Here we go. Uh, just as a quick little recap, here are the little seedlings. I'm going to make two containers out of this, four in each container. I think that'll help fill in them nicely and uh, give them plenty of room to grow. And, uh, all right. As always, well, for now anyway, using Miracle Grow Moisture Control my 10 inch terracotta pots and of course train it get them they work i know i keep saying it but they work all right hopefully i've got everything uh framed decently and uh i, mean, I can actually see it so it looks okay to me um Seedlings. Container. Drain it. Dirt. Let's get some plants together. Let's put some plants together. Let's grow some plants together. I don't know. But again, more plant videos. What I got for now. Right. As always, just toss it in. Some dirt. Dirt cup. From a dirt bag. Uh, anyway. Forward montage. All right. Now, one thing I did just remember that I forgot uh, are the little trays that go under the containers. Um, I'll be putting them under the containers, but uh, forgot to bring them in here. But. They're just the little, drip, the little drip trays to help keep some of the excess water so the plants can kind of you know, recycle it and whatnot. Uh, also helps, you know, being on a balcony and everything when the rain hits and maybe the plant got too much water and the little basin fills up and then when the plant needs it, it can suck it back up. Of course, terracotta kind of wicks moisture away and all that as well. So I just like it kind of contains some of the mess, um, but I will be using those. Um, now, I did not fill this up all the way, um, because I do want to have room for the little seedlings. I'll uh, get you a look at the dirt real quick. See, I just, just up a bit, because it will settle down, like you can tell it's got some give. Uh, once the water's been in there for a while, it'll kind of compact a bit. I might actually put just a little bit more in, but uh, I don't want it, you know, all the way to the top. I don't want it too full. Like I've done before and made a mess. Nope. All right. I think I messed up the framing a little bit. But let's just go with it. Um, all right, so I'm going to do this one. I'll do the other one off camera, and uh, 
I mean, it's dirt in a container and putting plants in. It's not, it's not that different for each one. So why well, make y'all sit through two montages and, you know, two things of the same thing and whatever. Um, as you can tell, I don't do scripts. I just, I think it's more natural just to, but things happen the way they do. Um, all right. Now, I've never actually, obviously I've never actually, I mean, I've used this because I've grown it, but um, I've never tried the whole getting them out. Um, for those that are interested, this is a burpee super seed, seed starter tray and um, one of its benefits is besides the little trade here see if I can do this without making too much of a mess uh, let's see if you can see this are these little orange parts they're actually silicone to make it easier to pop the the little plugs out um, another thing I just thought of I want to show you how good these roots are doing let's see if I can get this over here enough look at some of those roots coming up out of there can you see the roots I don't know if you can can you see them my right. so the plants are doing pretty good so I'm gonna take like I said four put in the container to the second container show you afterwards but let's show getting them in here and how much of a mess and chaotic it's going to be so supposedly you can take these i probably it's, they're probably a little too wet and uh just press the silicone i don't know if you can see it rising up holy that actually worked Let's see. And that's just a nice little plug. I'm just gonna set that, kinda put that in there like that. All right. Let's get the next one. Yeah, I think it would've been better to let these dry a little bit. Like that, that just completely fell apart there. Try to get some of that dirt put in over here. Alrighty. So much of a mess. But it's plants, it's half the fun, I guess. These are just kind of falling apart. Uh, maybe next time, <laughs> hinting, um, I'll let them dry out a little bit more before I transplant them. Um, but for being a first time experience on this, I think they're doing pretty well. I may have to uh, amend my opinion on uh, these burpee seed starter trays uh, some of these plants are definitely not going to make it with this transplant with the way everything was um, just because of the trauma and well literally some of them fell out of the little cube space um, I'm gonna add a little bit more dirt to kind of fill it in um, Give me a second. I'm going to clean my hands real quick before I deal with my phone. And, uh, be right back. See, that didn't take very long. Because for you, it was instant. Alright. So that's just four of them in there. I'm going to put in some dirt. A little bit more dirt. So that they're, they're filled in. And, uh, see, some of them just kind of fell out. So... They may get covered up or just not make it or whatever. And uh, 
We'll see how it goes. As you can tell, there's a lot of gunk left over. And I'll probably take all that gunk and just dump it in the containers when I'm done. On to the next batch. And like I said, I'm not even going to worry about filming. I'm going to, you know, pause the video and uh, get that taken care of. Restart. And uh, show you the end result. Alright. Alright. So I got them both done. And uh, they're okay. Hopefully they survive. Um, yeah, some, some of them are uh, maybe a little worse for wear. Um, it's one reason I kind of, again, I'm not a big fan of actually seed starting trays. Um, I prefer to grow, start the seeds in the container they're going to be in. Um, but let's look at the results. All right. I added a little bit more dirt in between them just to give uh, maybe a little bit of support. This one didn't turn out too well. This one uh, kind of, a bunch of it fell apart. And uh, yeah, so that, again, kind of the problem with, seed, with uh, transplanting. Um, is what it is, and of course the uh, the mess that ensues. Speaking of mess, um, always make sure to clean out um, seed starting trays. You want to make sure that you clean out your seed starting trays, um, just in case there's mold or mites or something. Maybe one of the uh, plants had something. You don't want it transferring to other plants. Um, anytime you're using reusable containers, um, it's a good idea to clean them. Um, a good rinse. Uh, let them kind of sit and dry out for a while before you use them again. Usually good enough. So, that's transplanting plants. Transplanting plants. Okay. And uh, as always, thank you for watching Pi. Projects, ideas, and experiments. Be smart. Stay safe. Have fun. What, are you waiting for a weird outro ending? I could come up with one today. Oh no, he's running out of ideas. <laughs> that happened a long time ago. Anyway. See you later.